last nail. I'm up here near Rocky Mountain National Park in a town called Allen's Park. Now, if I'm pointing up here, I, I can barely see it up there. I hope you can see it, but that's uh, Meeker, Mount Meeker and Long's Peak is up there too. Long's Peak is a 14er and Meeker is a 13er. And in Colorado, we call mountains that are over 14,000 feet, uh, we call them 14ers. So with that, we would call Meeker a 13er, 13er. So, but Keeley, who is over here, I made her day because we're up here not only to see um, the beautiful area up here in Colorado, but we're also going to the, could you go ahead, Keely, and I'll, I'll let you do it because I'll screw it up. We're going to um, St. Catherine of Siena Chapel, which is in the St. Mallow um, camp area which, you know, um, it's also referred to as Chapel on the Rock. And it's where Bruce and I are going to be having our wedding ceremony. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area. It's a tiny little church um, and it's just perfect for us. So this is, this is a wonderful, beautiful day to go yeah. explore and visit it that we both decided to do today um, and you guys should read up google search saint catherine of siena chapel um, saint mallow allen's park colorado and read the story of the chapel on the rock keely just noticed a columbine which is the state flower of colorado so there's a columbine I think these are some paint brushes. Those are really pretty. So that is Mount Meeker up there. I, I've got the zoom in on it. And it's probably why it's not real stable right now. So Long's Peak is behind Meeker and you can't see it right now. We have a really nice view of uh, Meeker, and that's a 13er. And I'm not sure what the peak that one is. But when you get up to the top of St. Vrain, it's almost like a cirque up there where you have a circle of mountain peaks. And you can see both Meeker and Longs, and then you have a cirque, kind of like the... the uh, Cirque up in Wyoming, the Cirque of the Towers up in Wyoming, up in the, the Wind River Range. But there's Meeker. So, and here's a display, or if you want to call it a storyboard, I know there's another YouTuber that I listen to who calls these storyboards. But this kind of lets you know peak to peak highway, which is what we came up. We're up here now at St. Catharines, or you know, I like to call it St. Malo's. It's just easier for me to remember that, but that's uh, Mount Meeker behind me. So this is just a start. We're going to walk all around here. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the chapel 
uh, we're inside, that's where we're planning on oh, getting married. So I'm going to close the, the side view, turn it around, and there's the chapel. So as I said, we're, I'm going to get some views of this from the outside, and we're also going to go inside. But there's a view of the chapel from the parking lot. Here's the area that we're in. This is a little bit of a nature area that's preserved. So they've asked that you not go in here. But I'm going to turn the camera around. And this here is the St. William Lodge Heritage Center and Gift Shop. So this is basically the visitor's center and there's a gift shop, as they say, Heritage Center, there's a coffee house, and there's Keeley up there. So we're gonna go up here. In fact, I'm gonna go up these stairs right now. And there's a tree. Let's go around here to some more stairs. the chapel. That's the setting that we're in. So here we are on the side of the lodge. I don't know if you can see the statue. I take it that's a statue of Christ up there. Of course, there's telephone wires in the way. But I just noticed something here. Uh, I don't know if you can see them or how well you can see them. I can't really go down there right now. But there's columbines kind of all over the place here. There's some in there. There's some over there. And then right over here, I noticed there's some columbines right there. And there are probably some more hanging around. I'm not sure what you would call this, maybe a little brook. But in some of the areas here, we've seen a lot of columbines, especially, you can't see the slope because the aspens are in the way. How do you like this? It's gorgeous. Yeah. Super We're just uh, downstream. There's probably some columbines over there. We're downstream from the lodge. Now, I don't know what we're going to... I just decided to go down this trail that I saw. Got to be careful. I don't have a walking stick. But I just decided to go down this trail. I'm glad we got long pants on. Well, they have a little... Uh, area they have oh so this is like a picnic area in here this is very beautiful in here but it's like a little picnic area A lot of wildflowers. It's in the back of the coffee shop. Yeah. 
Here's the stone chapel, St. Catherine's. And again, like I said, I uh, this, by the way, is a Catholic chapel. I am not Catholic. Keely is. And she has elected to get married in the Catholic Church. So uh, this is where we anticipate getting married. So I want to get some exterior filming up here before we go inside, but we will, meaning you and I and Keely, will be going inside. Now here's looking at the chapel from the east side. It's very beautiful, very beautiful on the outside. Now I have been here before. I'm going to very carefully step down there. There's oh, kind of uh, southeast of the chapel, and there's Mount Meeker. Now, that might be. Long's Peak back there, but that is Meeker. That is a 13,000 foot peak, and that is definitely part of Rocky Mountain National Park. Now, at some point, I have to change my battery, but this is the chapel from the outside. Very beautiful area. It's just, and you can see the lodge. We were just there having. Keely was having some chai, and I was just looking around, and that's where we filmed some of the, uh, the picnic area that we were at. Now here we are, a little further away, but we're still southeast, or more or less south, and there's Again, there's Mount Meeker. Just a, a beautiful day. I think it's in uh, probably around 70 degrees, maybe a little less. Little sign there that says that this is private property, camping and hiking prohibited. So again, this is kind of a nature preserve here, so they don't want you in there, but you're free to go. A little, I have a little flashing orange light which tells me that the battery's ready to go. Okay, so we're going to head back and at some point we're eventually going to go inside. Here we're at the east base of St. Malo's. We are going to walk over here, we probably will have to walk back at this point because I don't see the trail going further than this. Here's now we are at the south end of the chapel. It's all, I'm sure this is all local stonework. I always show Mount Meeker. So let's walk back up the trail and let's go inside. This, I assume, is the cornerstone of the chapel. Deo Decat, Decatum in honor St. Catherine, says St. Catherine A. A.D., I believe this is 1935. It's an MCM XXXV, so I think a Roman numeral is 1935. And here's 
the inside says, Welcome to St. Catherine of Siena Chapel. Now it's okay to come in here and it's fine to film anything you want, but you stay, um, you stay away from the altar. That's what you have to observe. Beautiful stained glass. And it's okay to go up the stairs, which we will do. And here's a picture of the chapel. That's Pope John Paul II, when he, he visited here. Okay, now we are going to go up the stairs, up into the loft. The stonework in and out of here is just quite amazing. This is the loft. There's the organ. And I've got, I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but that's stained glass. There's the altar, and again, if you're ever here, you can pretty much go anywhere, but uh, you don't enter the altar area, you stay off. There's Keeley and some guests. a message from the Pope. I don't know how well you could read that. But August 13th, 1993, upon arriving in Denver, I lifted up my eyes towards the splendor of the Rocky Mountains, whose majesty and power recall all, that all our help comes from the Lord, who has made heaven and earth and Psalm 89, 26, he alone is the rock of our salvation. And that is quoted from Pope John Paul II at the St. Malo Center. This is the west side of the chapel. Very beautiful. And there's some beautiful pink flowers and I don't know if you could see the brook, but the brook is there. You can hear it. Oh. Oh, we got wild raspberries. There's Camp St. Malo, St. Catherine of Santa Chapel on the Rock. So I just wanted to mention um, before this video ends, so the chapel is about an hour from Boulder and the chapel itself, the upstairs loft and the main seating area together
chairs seat about 80 people in all. The parking lot's kind of small. Bruce, if you want to scan it. Obviously, if the chapel holds 80 people, um, the parking lot would be a little tight, but it would fit. So, just wanted to say that in closing. Bye. So here we are. We're south of the chapel on the way back. And I took a turn off to Wild Basin. And so I didn't want to go in because I don't have a timed entry. I do have a pass to Rocky Mountain National Park. I just don't have a timed entry. So we took, instead of taking the fork that went into the park, I took the fork that went south and found this bridge. And I just knew intuitively that this is the place to stop. We just have to stop here without knowing what was here. And this is what here, I think this is probably more of the St. Vrain River, the South St. Vrain possibly, or the middle, could be the middle St. Vrain. But this is just gorgeous, and I'm sure this is inside the park. This is Bruce the Last Nail, and I think that's going to be it for this video at St. Catharines at uh, Mallow. And uh, so here's Keeley and I. We're at Rocky Mountain National Park, and we're going to go ahead and conclude the video in such a beautiful area. This is amazing here inside Rocky Mountain National Park. Wild Basin also, I just wanted to mention, Wild Basin has a lodge um, and Mount Meeker has a lodge. They're both right on top of um, St. Catherine of Siena Chapel at St. Mallow, um, very nearby. It's a beautiful area. It really is gorgeous and should be explored and enjoyed. And thank you very much for coming along for the ride with us. And I just want to let you know that I just, if you've stayed this long in the video, I just want you to know that you are just absolutely an awesome person and uh we love thank, you we love you and thanks for coming along with the ride uh for the ride with us goodbye oh sorry